I think sleep apnea is probably a sleeper disease. People don't really hear much about them. Sleep apnea is where during sleep, somebody uh, either stops breathing partially or completely for varying length of time. People in otherwise perfectly good health seem to die from it. A good example is Reggie White. People that are sleep apneic tend to have a lot of heart disease, they have strokes, and they gain weight. When they gain weight, the sleep apnea gets worse because it closes off the airway. So it is a huge problem. The awareness is just now coming up. You can't imagine somebody that gains a little bit more weight, get a little older, the tissue gets even softer, flabbier, and instead of just vibrating, it vibrates in closest part of the time. And sometimes up to several times an hour, sometimes 30 to 50 times per hour, you stop breathing. Sleep apnea is treated several ways, uh, and each of them has their advantages and disadvantages. The most common treatment for that is CPAP machines, it's continuous positive air pressure machines, where it for forces air to open up the airway. It's almost like if you had a, a kink in a, a lawn hose, the water doesn't flow through until there's enough pressure, the kink is straightened out. Similarly, the air is forced in to open up the airway. Oral appliances are much more compliant because you can be worn inside the mouth. It brings the jaw forward just like you do in a CPR open up the airway. This is a two-piece appliance called Somnomed MAS. This goes on the top, snaps into place, and it has some adjustability. You can actually make this one so that the jaw goes even further forward if need be. This part goes on the lower uh, jaw. It snaps into place as well. So when they're put together in the mouth, the jaw can stay forward, but it cannot fall back. If a person falls asleep, even if they open their mouth this far, the fin keeps them from loosening the jaw or the jaw would fall back. So that keeps the airway open. Next one is surgery. Uh, you, one can have the soft palate removed, which is that soft part that vibrates and it could be cut away either with laser or different ways of doing it and open up that part. Uh, advantage to that is if, if that is the cause of the problem, now the problem is gone. The disadvantage to that is uh, sometimes the problem is really not airway alone. It needs to be properly studied first. You need to have the knowledge first and then have this uh, sleep study done to realize what exactly the type of apnea the person is having. So those are the three main ways to treat sleep apnea. The bottom line, to give a better quality of life.